welcome back to another episode of the journey through apostolic succession. Luke 22, 29 says, And I confer on you, just as my Father has conferred on me a kingdom. The Father gives the kingdom to the Son, and the Son gives the kingdom to the Apostles. The gift is transferred from the Father to the Son to the Apostles. Their authority comes from God. So, today, in the successions of Apostles, we will hear about 162nd Pope, Pope Calixtus II. Early Life He was born circa 1065 in Gage. Pope Calixtus II was also known as Guy of Burgundy. He belonged to a wealthy family and was the son of a Count William I of Burgundy, one of the wealthiest rulers in Europe. He lived a life of wealth and convenience. He was a member of the highest aristocracy in Europe. Brief History and Background of Pope Calixtus II He was appointed as the Archbishop of Vienne from 1088 and before becoming Pope, he didn't serve as a Cardinal, while most Popes do. Pope Pascal II appointed him a Papal Legate and sent him to France several times to settle disputes with Henry V. He then wrote several decrees that the Pope authorized. When Pope Gelasius II passed away, mere days after becoming Pope, Cardinal selected Guy as his successor. Pope Calixtus II reigned for more than five years. Legacy His papacy began on February 1, 1119. Pope Calixtus II is mainly known for calling the First Council of Lateran in 1123, which ratified the Concordat of Worms, securing peace between Church and Empire for the next 35 years. He had attempted to resolve the issues with Holy Roman Emperor Henry V and also looked for ways to resolve the Sea of Aries, which was an ancient dispute that existed for centuries. Sica Judaeus was a papal bull issued by Calixtus II that ordered Christians to respect and treat Jewish people as their brothers. It stated that they faced excommunication if they violated the bull. He passed away on December 13, 1124 from natural causes when he was 72. Thank you for listening. And as always, stay tuned for the next episode. Please like, share, and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the church.